today I'm going to be talking about my personal brand in 2019. I recorded an entire episode earlier and I'd been speaking, um, using, I'd been talking through the Shure mic and when I played back the video, the whole thing just had this horrible like buzzing sound in the background and then the more I walked around, everything kept like clicking and things like that. So it really didn't work well. So before I abandoned the Shure mic, which so far has been problematic, I thought I would at least try the Shure, I think it's called the Motive um, app on my phone to see if it records any better. Um, pretty much what I wanted to talk about today is your personal brand. I decided today to start working on my personal brand for 2019 and start making some improvements. One of the first things that I started doing was firstly coming to the realization that my videos are about design and I say videos because I don't think I like the word vlog. Vlog to me implies a daily this is my life, a day in the life of Craig and that's not really what I'm about. Um, I'm not, I, I don't, I personally don't think I'm that interesting and I think that a lot of the stuff that makes me kind of charming and charismatic you wouldn't really be able to pick up on camera anyway so I thought it was probably best to skip that and focus on making five to seven video, uh, minute videos which I definitely have to improve on um, but yeah I make those videos every day and you know script a bunch of different design topics that I can talk about so my videos are going to be about creativity design and a bunch of other cool stuff then the second thing that I did um, for my brand is I decided on a format that I want to use and so I already have my name written in a certain font and a lockup where I use my name in a sans serif and then I use a handwritten font um, for the subject line or the subtext and so I thought well cool that that's cool for my intro and everything what do I do for my thumbnails and what do I do for my channel and so I decided to use a combination of the two in different ways on my channel which is mostly seen on your phone, the desktop uh, and your TV and for that I decided not to use an image for now because I don't know what I want to use so like I said this is a work in progress and I want to incrementally keep improving my brand so I thought cool let me use the script there and I've, I've written you know um, videos about creativity, design, and other cool stuff, which I think summarizes what I'm about. I'm not a famous vlogger or a YouTube creator, so people still have to get to know me. People need a reason to come to my channel, and I thought I would get, be very direct and to the point, and I'm gonna try my best to stay on topic as much as possible. Then what I did was I looked at thumbnails, a lot of the famous YouTubers, they don't really need to have any text on their thumbnails. People watch them because people enjoy them, people know them, people like them. And I think that in order to attract more attention, it's quite useful to have a bit of text on your thumbnail so that people understand at a glance what that is without having to read the description. Um, 
I think the reason why the famous guys don't do it is one, they're usually brilliant photographers and those pictures, you know, they say everything they need to say. But the other thing is that in certain instances where YouTube uses the thumbnails, um, they actually put the description inside the thumbnail and I think if you've got text in there, it becomes intrusive. But that's the only real instance where it's a conflict having text on your thumbnail and then using it in YouTube. The rest of the time, the thumbnail I think is really important for attracting attention and if people at a glance need to understand things, I think that putting a bit of text in there is fine. So what I did today was I made a template that said I use a sans serif font for the, the main subject and then the subtext, which would be like Motivation Mondays, uh, Tip Tuesdays, um, Friday finds, things like that, which are the, some of the topics that I'm busy working on, which is my third um, brand uh, asset that I'm working on. So what I would like to do is that I'm actually going to try and attempt to do as many videos as I can. I don't want to commit to daily because, uh, let me put it this way, I'm a moody creative. I literally don't think that I could create every day. I, I go through ups and downs, there's times when I just don't feel like do, doing anything and I just don't want that pressure because it'll kill the creativity for me. But I'm going to try as much as possible and I want to kind of theme the posts that I do. So I've written less, I've got something like 275 topics for this year alone and that was what I wrote in one afternoon. So I think that if I went and I started organizing those a little more and obviously they will change because sometimes you know things are relative for example Friday finds will be relative to what I find in a period of a week that I feel is worthy talking about on the vlog so yeah I have come up with those themes so far I only have three themes I've started to come up with a Wednesday a Thursday and a Saturday and Sunday theme I, you know I think Sunday could be easy because it could just be fun day Sunday and then it could be more of my life and the silly things I get up to I don't know if that would be interesting but yeah I've, I've got four more days to figure out and I'd like to get organized like that just so that there's a little bit more structure to to things and you don't just have to keep going oh what was the last episode I watched if you're interested in my design tips and things like that then cool you're gonna watch that if you're interested in the motivation side of things maybe you know that's the series that you you want to watch or what's that's the topic you want to watch so yeah been working on a bit of brand stuff um i'm hoping that you're taking you know you watched my last video and that you are taking my advice and working on your personal brand i'm going to keep working on this daily I'm gonna keep improving and improving and improving and I keep sharing it with you I'm not gonna like work on the stuff and keep it hush hush like I normally would I'm actually gonna work and show you stuff my fails my successes I'm gonna ask for your opinion so please you know hit that like button if you like the the video definitely comment below if you've got any input for me I'd really appreciate it jump on my other social media channels and uh, definitely share your thoughts. I'm very open to receiving feedback. Hopefully the audio is a bit better with that. Um, I will keep improving. I think I've definitely got audio better. I think my colors definitely, you know, improved. Still got some work to do, but I'll keep chipping away every day at making these videos better. For now, I've got to go chip away at getting this body together and uh, that means I'm going to go to gym. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.